Now this is an example of the Ken Burns effect on some images. These are three images in the beginning here that have had Ken Burns applied to them and this is what that will look like. With Ken Burns you can zoom in and zoom out and pan across and make a still image look like it's moving. So that's what it looks like. Now how do we actually achieve that? So I've got a clip in the timeline and I'm going to put some images in to that timeline and apply Ken Burns effect to those images. So in the, in the events I have a photos folder and I've got some images here that I want to use. But I'll just drag it onto the timeline in front of those clips. And I'll this one first, and that, that. so just clicking to select the image and then dragging it into position. Now I want to play that, it's just a still image. It has Ken Burns automatically as a default in iMovie, so it will just pan and zoom as you put the images in. Now if you want to change that, you click an image, go up to the crop, and these are the options for images. And in this case, we do want to use Ken Burns. And you have two boxes here. You can indicate where you would like the zooming to start from and where do you want it to end. You need to click the start. And I'd like it to start from a distance and zoom into Ocean Beach towards the end of that. So the start, I can leave at that point maybe zoom it in a little bit and at the end I want to zoom in on Ocean Beach so I can move around this box till I can get it as close as possible to that size and this is the arrow here it means it's going to start from from this side and it's going to zoom in this way zooming into that title Ocean Beach and I have a look at that it starts from a distance and it zooms into Ocean Beach before it moves on to the next one now if I click on the next one and then into the crop Ken Burns now the previous one zoomed into the title so I'd like the next one to start with the surfer start with the uh, sun and zoom out to the server. So at the start, when I click the start box, I want it to focus on this area first, that's the starting point, and the end point is going to be on the surfer. Remove some of that sun and just focus on the surfer. And the arrow is going that way, and you can move them around if you wanted to zoom it on a different angle. So back to the beginning of that, and it's checked. So it starts with the sun and zooms into the surfer. So when we look at it from the beginning, and if that looked a bit strange, then come back and fiddle with it. So perhaps we start with the surfer. and end over at the sun so that it's panning from the small section here to the larger area. So let's come back to the, to the beginning of that, that image. So it starts with the, the surfer and zooms out to take in the whole image, which looks a bit better. You have control over how you want the panning and the zooming to occur. Simply by clicking going to the crop and then deciding where do you want that to start. Now, in this case, this is the default, so it already automatically has an end and a start point that you can uh, ignore. So at the beginning of this one, that one's just zooming in on the bird anyway, going a slow zoom. You can leave that there if you want to. To look at it as a finished section of movie, put in some transitions. 
Now it's a four second clip. If I want it to stay four seconds, then I need to add a little bit more on to compensate for the transition. I'm going to put fade to black in at this point between them. Now that's one second, which has taken off half a second from this one and half a second from the second one. So when we look at it this time, as it play as well, from the beginning. At least you can get a better idea with the transition of how it's going to look between the two. So I can put in another fade to black here. So this one's now three seconds because a half a second's come off for this transition and a half a second's come off for this transition. So it's now down to three seconds. Now if I want to maintain that four, I need to make that back to four from here. So they now have transitions between them. So let's take another picture as another example. There's some rocks here. Drag that one in. And it's doing a, a slow pan and zoom into this section here. And if I wanted to zoom into that part, because the next image might be um, opening up into a bay or with a boat in it or something. Select the image, going to Ken Burns. The start can be uh, the wide shot, but the end, I want to focus on this section here. I want to zoom into that part there. Let's look at that. The next image after that might be some uh, sea or a, a, a surfer, whatever it is, just to, to take advantage of that zooming in effect and if you don't want it to be as fast as that then click on the end and just make it a bit bigger and it doesn't zoom in as fast but it ends at that point so the next part I might take a bit of that off It zooms in, then it goes straight into that surfing, so then it depends on what transition you put between the two. In this video, we took a look at Ken Burns in iMovie.